911, what's the location of the emergency? And do you need police, fire, or medical assistance? When I got to college, you know, I was like, of course I want to take some fire tech classes and then got an associates and uh, came up from college. And then once I actually started working, I realized that my personality, the things I want with life, um, my activity level and everything is kind of exactly what the fire service is. I like the days uh, at work. Um, I like the family that I make with my coworkers and hanging out outside of work. Uh, I'm not from Fairbanks or Alaska, so a lot of the stuff I'm doing is new. It's not in the textbooks what to do when your gloves, you know, freeze into a C shape, you know, but it's also not in the textbook about how nice it's gonna be, you know, going to a structure fire and looking up and seeing the Aurora Borealis and watching the Northern Lights go by. So it's, you know, that's something that a lot of people don't even get to see in their life. And I, I watch it on the, you know, while I'm at work. And it became obvious that it was a lot of fun and it was what I wanted to do. and. When you're in the Fairbanks area, you, uh, you end up at Fairbanks Fire because it's the best place to work in the city. The job is obviously very challenging. It's firefighting is, is a challenge. It's a lot of fun though. It's something that you can, every day is different. It's not a nine to five sitting at a desk. You're getting up, you're moving around, you're finding something different to do. You've got different tasks throughout the day. You never know what call you're gonna get. The culture is fantastic. You really get to be brothers and sisters here with your people. I was in California and uh, they. It, I was training with departments, I was working as an EMT and it was very, very difficult. If you don't match exactly what they were looking for, uh, I was small, like I said, I was older um, and everything was a fight. So I came up to Alaska to go to the University of Alaska. I did a one ride along with FFD and I knew that it was the department I wanted to work in. It's very relaxed It's than, than every other department I've ever been to. It's very fun. People are immediately welcoming, happy to have you. Um, it's, 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 it's going on adventures all day with your friends. I love being here in Fairbanks. I, I find that the community events that are hosted here in Fairbanks are within a community that's so appreciative of each other and tight-knit that it kind of feels like you're hanging out with your neighbor, your neighbors and it kind of feels like you're hanging out with you know I don't have any childhood friends here but it, it feels like you know I'm reconnecting and stuff. I've lived all over the world because my dad was the army this is probably my favorite place I've lived it's the only place that I could see myself staying I'm gonna stay for my whole career I just bought a house uh, I love the weather I like how it's a real city I work for a real city fire department the river in the summer I like the winter the snow in the winter um, yeah, I, do, I it's, it's fun here. Alaska's always been home. Uh, it's a hard place to see yourself leaving. Uh, it's beautiful, it's wild, it's full of adventure. You can go 10 minutes off outside the city limits and you've got something new and exciting to do that you probably haven't found to do before. The community is uh, unlike any I have ever seen before. It's a, uh, you're very much more community oriented. You're uh, more people oriented in Fairbanks. You get to know everybody on a better basis. You get to really experience a lot of different people, a lot of different cultures. Uh, we're a fantastic melting pot in Fairbanks. So the ideal person I could see working with me at the Fairbanks Fire Department, just in general, having somebody that wants to be here. That's it. Uh, as long as you want to be here, because you'll carry that I want to be here attitude. Um, it'll help you get through the long shifts. Um, if you want to be here, you probably want to be hanging out with us too. So you'll definitely add to the family environment that we have here. Somebody just adaptable that you're, you're you know, calm most of the time. You like new things. New things don't scare you. Uh, you. You don't have to be some crazy outdoor person. You don't have to be super intense and, and, and super strong. Just somebody who's really comfortable doing something new and just experiencing it. We want reliable. Uh, that's always one of the biggest ones is reliability. You want them to be able to function as part of a team. You want to be able to count on them. Uh, you want to be able to easily put your life in their hands. This is something that's true for the fire service across the nation is you want to be able to uh, go into that building, go on to that med call, be able to tell them, hey, we need this, that, or the other thing, and they can immediately get on it and Really, as long as they're there for us, we're there for them, and it's probably one of the best qualities to have in the fire service.